Now that we have added our functionality to browse and save images to our MSFS database file, it's time to show them to our event format C Sharp application and navigate and see record one by one. So go to your uh, WinForum and click the button that is going to load the data from your database and which is load db load from db for me i'm going to double click and it's going to take me to the click event of this button and first thing we need to do is to refresh con db connection because we might have added while we were navigating we might have added uh, some uh, more images to our database and access database and or maybe updated some image and if we did that we might want to you know view the latest changes made to our database so for that we're going to refresh db connection and then of course we're going to set our row number to zero that is the first record in our ms access database table then we are going to assign the image that is read from the ms access database table to our picture box and that is done by a function called read image from db now this is not only going to read the data read the image from our ms access database it is also going to convert that red format to a format that is compatible with picture box that is it is going to convert the image from OLE object that is from binary to system dot drawing dot image type and going it and that is being returned by this function and is being assigned to the picture box then naturally we are also in this click event we must enable the disabled buttons uh, the navigation buttons that were disabled before that is btn next btn previous and btn delete they were all disabled before so we're going to enable them and set their property to true enable property to true and we are going to for um and for understandability's sake, we are going to rename the text of this button, that is the button that we just clicked, to view first image. We're going to set the text property to view first image, just so that it has more meaning when we are navigating. Now, before we can see what is the code be in the navigation buttons, we'll see how the image is being read from the database and how it is being converted. So I'll just scroll down and move to the read image from DB function. Now, as you can see, it is returning a type image that is system.drawing.image. So uh, this is not void, of course. And inside it, the connection is already open. So we don't open it here. As you know, we refresh the DB connection. Uh, because I'm mentioning this because of course if you want to read something from the database you are going to have to uh, have a connection established already now fetching the image from the DB as binary and then transformation goes something like this now this is the reverse to the first conversion we saw in sending data to the database first we have binary that is being read it is going to be converted to byte error then to memory stream and then to image so we create our new variable of type image called fetched image and we check if there is some row existing some record existing in our database table that is if we roll number is greater than or equal to zero then we begin the conversion so first we are going to read our uh, image record and that is done by byte we are going to convert it to bytes directly now we create byte fetched images bytes image bytes is equal to you parse it to that is you cast this fetch data to byte array and the fetch data is called as local data table dot rows and in the brackets you give the row number whatever index you are trying to read and the exact field that you are trying to read so we are reading the OLE object field that is the image field and that is why we give the exact name from our MS access data now the conversion goes something like this first we're going to read our binary record from the image record from our database table and if you remember our local data table was attached to our data adapter that is data adapter was going to fill it and uh you know it was a proxy uh for uh, updation or reading data from our ms access database table and local data table holds the exact um, uh, stuff that is being stored in the ms access database table so we actually read it read the data something like this local data table dot rows that it is from the rows the row number the exact row number for example to the second row of the rows of the data table local data table called the field name called image in the 
uh, MS Access database table. Now this is the exact field name that you have kept in your MS Access database table. And since R was simple IMG image, uh, so this reads the binary data from the field image at the row, whatever you've specified here. Uh, and once we've read the binary data, we're going to cast it to byte array type because from binary we go to bytes and once we have converted to bytes we're going to uh, create a new object of type byte array and you know store this data fetch data to our byte uh, fetched image bytes object uh, that is uh, array I'm sorry not object but array okay then we are going to convert this byte error to memory stream and that is simply done by memory stream stream you can call it my stream it's up to you and you convert it to uh, by initializing it to new memory stream in the brackets fetched image bytes then we are going to convert this stream into system.drawing.image with by the default following code that is fetched image is equal to if you remember image fetched image is of type image is equal to image dot from stream and then give the stream whatever you have converted so far and then return this fetched image so we return it and if uh, there is no record in your MS Access database table simply display a message that there is no image in the database yet please reconnect or add some images and naturally return null because both of your if else path have to return something Okay, so how about we debug and check if we are reading images successfully from our database or not, at least the first record that is being fetched. And we click the load from DB, but we debug our application and click load from DB. And there we have it. This is the first record, the first image stored in our MS Access database table. Congratulations, now we move on to the navigation buttons and we click first, let's go to, to the next button, double click it and it'll take us to the click event of this button. Now in this next button, the simple purpose uh, is going to be to fetch the image at whatever row number it is. So we're going to simply call picture box one dot image is equal to read image from DB. Now this function, as you just saw, is going to read whatever image is at whatever row position is at the moment when you click this button. And before that, we also need to increment the row number because, for example, we were viewing the eighth uh, record, eighth image, and we want to see the ninth image by clicking next. Obviously, we first need to increment row number and then fetch the uh, image from the row number, the updated row number. But because, uh, you know, we could reach the last record of our MS Access database table, for example, there are a total of 10 images, and we could, by clicking next, of course, this is row number is going to turn to 11, which is going to give us an error. So we don't want to go to the error, of the outside, outside the boundaries of a total number of records. So this is why we have made a check that if row number is still equal to local table data table dot rows dot count minus one that is the total number of rows in our local data table uh, then we show message box saying that you have reached the last image otherwise we simply increment the row number and fetch whatever image it is on the next row then again going back to the design view and double clicking our previous button and going to its click event again the major purpose of this uh, button is going to be decrement the row number index that is if we're viewing the eighth record now we want to see the seventh image seventh record and so we decrement row number and we call once again picture box one dot image is equal to read image from db so now it's going to read the seventh image but once again row number could go out of boundary the lower boundary this time and it could go to zero there is no record at zero because they start with one to ten so we neither wanted eleven in the next row in the next button neither do we want uh, the zeroth record because there exists none so if that is the case then we're simply going to pop up a message box saying this is the first image so you cannot go back and if it's not the first image naturally the code that is going to be executed is the natural uh, the normal code 
time to debug and see if it's working as we have made it or not. So we'll click the load from DB button and let's see by first clicking the next button. And as you can see, it is successfully navigating. And when we click the previous button, we are going to move to the previous images. Okay, let's try between both of them. Next, previous, next, previous, next, previous, next, previous. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that is successfully done as well. The last remaining part is the delete button and we'll do it in a jiffy.